Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So 2016 seems destined to be remembered as the year of the dumpster fire, but I don't really think that's fair because, like anything, 2016 is vast and it contains multitudes. Like, really, 2016 wasn't even one year. It was 7.4 billion different years to 7.4 billion different people. Anyway, Rosiana recently asked her viewers to share their best of 2016, and I found it so encouraging to hear about all the wonderful experiences people had this year, so I thought today I would share my four favorite memories of 2016. First, I got to attend the 100th running of the Indy 500 with my mom and dad and lots of our friends. Now I know that the Indy 500 is technically just 800 left turns, half of which you can't see because the track is so huge, but it is also the largest non-religious gathering of human beings on Earth. And while I'm not usually a crowds person, it is truly wondrous to see so many different people come together. And then I left the Indy 500, drove to the airport, and boarded a plane to go to London, where I got to see Nerdfighteria sponsored AFC Wimbledon play at Wembley for a spot in the third tier of English football, a game which they won, and then sleepless and delirious I returned to Wimbledon's home stadium to party with my dad and friends and strangers and AFC Wimbledon players, and it was just magical. Now again, one could easily say, how can you get so excited about the 82nd best football team in England? And to those people I would say, at the moment, AFC Wimbledon are actually the 55th best football team in England. Second great memory of 2016, Sarah's cousin getting married in Portland, Oregon. So when Sarah and I were in our 20s, we sometimes went to seven or eight weddings a year, and frankly, I came to dread them. Because, you know, I dislike formal wear and banquet food and making small talk with strangers and overly long toasts and most of all dancing. But now that we've reached an age where weddings are few and far between, I've really come around to them, and this one in particular had me both laughing and crying. I'd known the groom since he was in high school. The couple were lovely and generous to each other and to their guests. It was so fun to watch my kids watch a wedding because they were just like, Dad, what is happening? And best of all, after the wedding, we got to go to a Portland Timbers game. Third great memory of 2016, meeting baby Orin in Montana. Hank, I don't want to taunt you by bragging about experiences that you can't have, but there is nothing like the pride and happiness of seeing your baby brother be such a committed and loving father. Hank, in your life, you've been good at many things, but when I was visiting with you and Catherine and Orin in Montana, I thought, He's found the thing that he's best at. Okay, enough sentimentality. So far, all my favorite memories of 2016 involve leaving Indianapolis, and that, that's not a good sign. And while I do dearly love our airport, named Best Airport in America, four years running, I think my favorite memory of this year was being home. In both 2014 and 2015, I spent more than 100 days away from home. This year, I was home nine nights out of 10. That meant more time for writing and more time with my family. And while I think quality time with your kids is incredibly important, there's also something to be said for quantity time. And this was an awesome year to be a dad. Henry learned how to ride a bike, Alice learned her ABCs, they both learned every single word to Moana, and I was home for most of it, which was the best thing to happen to me this year other than AFC Wimbledon's promotion. Nerdfighters, if you'd like to share your best of 2016, please do so in comments or make a video and link to it in comments. Hank, when you see me next, it will be 2017, meaning that the Vlogbrothers channel will be celebrating its 10th anniversary. Thank you for doing this with me for a decade. What a long, strange trip it has been. I will see you on Tuesday. Friday. Dang it! So bad at days! When are you gonna learn that, Green? When are you gonna get your days down? Oh, I've reached that age where my son has suddenly surpassed me in ability to tell what day of the week it is. <laughs>